welcome back to A Closer Look. It's an annual fundraising event that brings people together of all walks of life, all for a great cause. Here to tell us about the upcoming Brahaha is Meg Schrader, Breast Care Nurse Navigator with Chesapeake Regional Healthcare. Welcome back, Thank I should Thank say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you so for having me. So tell us again, what is this annual event, the Brahaha? It is an amazing event. This is the 12th annual Brahaha, mm -hmm. and what it is is it's an inspirational and a seriously uplifting yes. event <laughs> um, that raises money that stays all in the community of Chesapeake, and what it does is it raises money to fund mammograms for mm -hmm. women that are either uninsured or underinsured. Um, the most amazing thing is all the money that's raised stays in Chesapeake. We do mammograms. It's mm -hmm. used to fund technology. We have all 3D uh, mammograms. Mm -hmm. We have the mobile mammo, which is the only 3D mobile mammo in the area. So it's all of that money gets used um, and stays right here in the community to take care of women in the community. And I see that all the time, the mobile mammogram. That's, yes. that's great. Yes. What, um, I should say, where is the event being held and when? So the event is October the 18th. Mm -hmm. It's the award show. And it's right here at the Tidewater Community College mm -hmm. on Cedar Road. We're very excited to have it back in Chesapeake. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful venue and we're very excited. It's a fabulous event. Um, we're going to have, you know, live music, um, auction items, mm -hmm. silent off and silent and live auction items, and well, of course, all of the wonderful bras will be on display, mm -hmm. and it will be the award show as well. So we'll have all the winners in all the different categories. So how does somebody participate, and when is the deadline? So the deadline is October the 3rd. Mm -hmm. So you can go to brahaha.org, mm -hmm. and it has everything on there. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, the bra has to be a back closure 38C, mm -hmm. and it can be anything that you want it to be. We have a number of different categories this year. We have best seasonal or holiday theme, um, sports and uh, sports inspired, business entries, mm -hmm. um, Chesapeake Regional Hospital, arts and entertainment, best bra babe by a school. So we have a lot of different ones. The best Mardi Gras theme, that's that's tying into the Mardi Gras theme mm. is the theme for the gala this year. So oh, we're tying fun. those two okay. together. So we're really excited. Um, we've heard there's some really spectacular bras already, already in the making out there. So we're very happy about that. So can anyone enter and is there a fee associated? There is a $25 fee mm -hmm. and anyone can enter. We also have a 13 and under category category for our junior bra oh, makers okay. and it's really amazing how creative they are mm -hmm. and what their stories are. You know, one of the things that we talk about is every bra has a story mm -hmm. and it's really amazing. Last year I was with bra intake and a little, uh, you know, a little guy came in and he did the bra for his grandma. Um, so it's just, it's wonderful, wonderful mm -hmm. to see these, these folks. Now, how and when will the uh, bras be judged? So the bras will be judged the week before. So mm -hmm. typically they're judged on Wednesday or Thursday the mm -hmm. week before. And we have local celebrities. Yes, that I get, have done it before. Yes, you have done it before. to be doing it again this no, year. We're thrilled. So we have local. It's a tough thing to do because they're, they're all wonderful. They but are. But some of them are just... The creativity is just amazing. So. It is, and you know, every time we think that we can't, the, we can't be more creative. Right, we are. Right, um, you know, there are people that are. So, local celebrities, mm, media uh, celebrities. Okay. We have, <laughs> yes, absolutely. We have folks from, you know, we have folks from art from the art community right. so we have everyone so mm -hmm. that's so you guys get to judge yeah. independently um, and all of the bras will be in the the first place the most creative and the breast best craftsmanship mm -hmm. easy for me to say right right <laughs> um, and then the individual categories as well so we have we have more opportunities for people to be winners so once the event is over with what happens to the bras the bras will be on display mm -hmm. at TCC for that next week okay. so yeah they'll be they'll be all through that next okay. week okay yes and then they they end up of course in the breast center some of them they do, do. I've some seen of them, them. yeah so. some of them end up with us at the breast center mm -hmm. um, they go they're out throughout the Jennings Center looking local local businesses, mm -hmm. schools, different right. places. We're encouraging the bra makers to take them back. But also, if the bra maker is so inclined, they can go up for auction. And some of the bras that we have actually at um, the breast surgeon's office have been have been purchased. Right. So, so you have the opportunity, if there's one that you really like, and the, the owner says, you know, you can go ahead and bid on it, you can bid on it. So it's oh, an opportunity nice. to, to take a piece of art home. Right. I, actually have, I actually have two bras at my really? house. Really? Yes. That's great. Yes. That's great. Yeah. Now, how important is it, you know, bre breast health? How important mm -hmm. is that? You know, we've talked about this a lot, and there's mm -hmm. been a lot of different discussion about the new guidelines and the right. old guidelines. You know, do you start at 40? Do you start at 45? But, you know, it's one thing that women can be proactive with their health. Right. So the thing about it is 
you know, there's been a lot of discussion about self-breast exams. We still encourage women to do self-breast exams. If you feel something, give us a call. Um, it's better to have it checked out. Absolutely. You know, annual mammograms or every two years, depending mm -hmm. on what your risk factors are and what your discussion is with your healthcare provider. They're very important because we find things, you know, the sooner we find things, right. if it does happen to be a breast cancer, then a lot of times the less treatment you have to have. Right. And that's, you know, Early detection is our best is our best protection. No, absolutely. Absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. And I think I think nowadays it's it is something that maybe people didn't used to talk about it mm -hmm. years ago. Absolutely. But now you know, absolutely, it's out there. It which is. is great. It is, and it's not just about the month of October. It's about you know, it's mm -hmm. about everything. And that's one of the things that's so important about Brahaha is we fund mammograms for women all throughout the year. Mm -hmm. It's not just about October. Right. Um, you know, if we'll fund it, you know, all throughout the year. So um, that's been a little bit of a change for us uh, because we realize that everybody can't get there at one point in time. Right. So it's very important for us to do them all throughout the year. And, I, and like I said, I see I see the vehicle all the time. Yes. I see it in front of the city, going down the road. And Absolutely. it's great. It's just a constant reminder that it is something that, that everyone should do. Absolutely. And the thing that's so great about it going out to the community is, you know, we're very thankful to the businesses that sponsor us mm -hmm. because a lot of times what they do is they let women come, you know, out of their jobs to have that mammogram. Usually it's done in less than 30 minutes. So they can do it on their lunch right. hour. They can do it on a break. Um, but what it does is it brings it to them so it's more convenient right. because women are busy mm -hmm. you know they're busy taking care of you know a lot of times everyone right. else they're busy taking care of their kids they may be taking care of their parents family members different folks and they tend to put themselves last so that's why it's nice for it to come to your place mm -hmm. of work and it's like oh you know what I'm gonna get my mammogram so it's it's one less excuse I was getting ready to say <laughs> no excuses absolutely <laughs> absolutely so talk briefly about some of the state-of-the-art equipment at Chesapeake region oh I'm very happy to talk about that mm -hmm. all as we talked about all of our mammogram machines are 2 and 3D, but 3D is the latest and the mm -hmm. greatest, um, especially for women that have dense breasts. Right. You know, those are the women that benefit the most mm -hmm. from that 3D digital mammogram. Um, we also have a 3D automated ultrasound machine, which is another, um, another wonderful thing for women that have dense breasts. Mm -hmm. It's a screening tool. We have our breast MRI machine there. Um, of course, we have our mobile mammo, right. which we're very, very proud of. Um, the other mobile mammos in the area are 2D, so we were the first one to have have that 3D mm -hmm. on a mobile machine, so on a mobile platform. Wow, so that's we're, a pretty big deal. It is a very, it mm -hmm. is a pretty big deal. So we're we're very very fortunate about that. And again, the community's been very generous um, with supporting Brahaha and other initiatives for us to be able to do that. All right, tell me one more time where someone can find out more information about the Brahaha. Brahaha.org, or they can call the foundation, which is 757-312-6314. Um, All right, great. Thanks so much for coming back on. Thank and you. Look forward to judging. It's I, going to be difficult. It but, is, but, but I can't wait to see all the different designs. I can't either. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. We have to take a quick break, but up next we'll learn which apps you should be concerned about on your child's phone and tablet. Don't go away.